Hey everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So here where I live in Baguio, water is a very precious commodity. We have water storage tanks because we get water three times a week and only during the early mornings and in the late evenings. So yes, water is a very precious commodity and this summer has been particularly harsh because the reservoirs are, have been drying up and you know it's basically a good idea to save water regardless of what the situation is. And the tech that I'm going to be featuring today doesn't involve drones and doesn't even involve electronics at all and this is this rain barrel that I made and this collects rain from my downspout and down here is where I can use that rain for watering the gardens or you know flushing down toilets or you know washing you know for whatever use that I may deem necessary and um, save water along the way so stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I built this thing First of all, to give credit where it's due, I took heavy inspiration from this guide on Family Handyman. It's a great guide and I'll link it in the description below. You'll need to buy or build a really sturdy table or platform that can hold up as many full barrels as you're planning for. For this project, you'll need some PVC fittings, some PVC pipes, and of course some PVC pipe cement to join them all together. Onto the barrel itself, I'm using this large plastic barrel. I bought it used. You can even use large trash cans, just make sure it's clean and free of chemicals. I start off by drilling two holes that are 2 and 1 4th inch each on the bottom for my 2 inch PVC conduit adapter. I then cut my 2 inch PVC pipe for the drain pipe, which is the longest piece I'll need. This pipe is connected to a 2 inch male conduit adapter which sits on the bottom inside the barrel and should go just short of the top of the inside the top of the barrel. So when the barrel is filled with water, any excess then flows into the drain pipe. Here's what a drain pipe looks like from the top of the barrel when it's full of water. I then applied some glue to the 2 inch male conduit adapter. Use some silicone caulk or glue that's used for water sealing, not the one I'm using here. Now the tricky part is maneuvering the drain pipe inside the barrel and onto one of the holes at the bottom. From the bottom of the barrel, I then screwed a 2-inch female conduit adapter tightly, though eventually I had to seal them around with marine epoxy. I did this for both holes, but only one of them had the long PVC drain pipe. Going back to our PVC fittings, I'm using both 3 4 inch and 2 inch sizes, splitting with a T fitting, then using a reducer to go down to the 3 4 inch output line. Over at the top, I got this filter on line which fits my downspout perfectly. Occasionally, I need to clean it out of all of the dust, leaves, and pine needles gathered from the roof. My smaller 3 4 inch spout has a 3 4 inch threaded fitting so I can screw a garden hose to it, or in my case so I can screw on a Tolson quick release tap adapter. And if I need to fill out a bucket quickly, my 2 inch spout is definitely up to the task. So here's my rain barrel system, zoomed out so you can see how it's all interconnected. And if you have multiple rain barrels, instead of having an elbow fitting going to your output spouts, you just replace it with a T-fitting that goes up to another barrel. And because of gravity and physics, as one barrel fills up, the other barrel will also fill up at the same time. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, yeah, science! There you have it. I hope this video has been useful to you or at least it has been very entertaining and regardless how much water you are able to save or regardless what you use it for um, you know it's a very good idea to conserve our natural resources and uh, you know help out in any which way we can and um, you know th th right now I only have one rain barrel but I can always build more and uh, you know um, for when I need extra water here at least I don't have to tap in to the freshwater, the limited freshwater resources we have here in the city. So I'm going to end this video here. 
I hope you are make sure make sure you're subscribed to this video because we, I have a lot of viewers who aren't even subscribed so click that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that like button as well because it helps get this video out to more viewers like you all right so I'm going to end this here as always keep building and keep flying